In the endless, silent expanse of space, a solitary explorer presses forward. Voyager 2. Crafted by human ingenuity, it carries our dreams, questions, and music into the vast unknown. For almost 50 years, it unveiled the secrets of our solar system's giants, then slipped quietly into the interstellar dark. Its distant signal, a mere whisper across the cosmos, kept us tethered to the mysteries beyond. It delivered awe-inspiring sights. Jupiter's swirling storms, Saturn's shimmering rings, the enigmatic blue worlds of Uranus and Neptune. Every transmission was a victory, a fragile link across the vastness. Yet even the greatest journeys must eventually reach their end. As Voyager 2's energy waned, we braced ourselves for a final farewell, a last scientific glimpse before silence. NASA's team assembled, ready to close the chapter. But on July 6, 2025, Voyager 2 sent something no one anticipated. A signal that broke all expectations, a cryptic message from the void, both puzzling and profound. It was a final enigma from our farthest explorer. This last transmission wasn't a conclusion. It marked the start of a deeper, more profound mystery. A mystery that forces us to rethink our place in the cosmos. The universe had spoken, and we were left searching for answers. What did Voyager 2 truly discover out there? What is Voyager 2? At its heart, a time capsule and robot explorer. Launched in 1977, it was one of a pair, Voyager 1 and 2, built to seize a rare planetary alignment. This cosmic coincidence allowed a grand tour of the outer solar system. More than a machine, Voyager 2 was an ambassador. Attached to its side, the golden record, a message in a bottle for the cosmos. It holds greetings in 55 languages, sounds of Earth, and music from Bach to Chuck Berry. Its primary goal science. Cameras, sensors, and detectors study Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These worlds, once fuzzy dots, became real through Voyager's eyes. We packed our hopes and science onto this three-ton machine, gave it a nuclear heart, and sent it on a one-way journey. It would never return but it would reveal the secrets of our cosmic neighborhood. Voyager 2 was more than hardware. It was humanity reaching out to touch the stars. It was a bold gamble, a leap into the unknown, and it became our voice in the vastness. Its journey was a testament to our relentless curiosity. Voyager 2 carried our story farther than we ever dreamed, and now it had brought something back. Voyager, 2's journey began with a roar, then silence as it entered space. Its first stop, Jupiter, revealing violent storms and volcanic moons. It showed us a dynamic solar system, changing our textbooks forever. Next, Saturn. Voyager probed its rings and studied Titan's thick atmosphere. Each discovery was a new piece of the cosmic puzzle. Then, into uncharted territory, Uranus, a pale blue world tipped on its side, with new moons and rings. Finally, Neptune, Voyager revealed the great dark spot and Triton's geysers. The grand tour was complete, a feat unmatched in human history. After Neptune, Voyager 2's planetary mission ended, but its journey continued. In 2018, it crossed the heliopause, entering interstellar space. Now, it sailed the cosmic sea, sending back data from the unknown. It became humanity's first true interstellar explorer, a silent sentinel in the great dark, still reaching outward. Its odyssey redefined what was possible, and its final act would redefine what we believed. July 6, 2025, NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab braced for Voyager 2's final signal. The probe's nuclear battery was fading after 48 years. The Deep Space Network listened for a signal billions of times weaker than a watch battery. The mood was somber, proud, a farewell to an old friend. The signal arrived on schedule, data streaming in as expected. Telemetry was normal, the probe's last health check complete. Scientists prepared to archive the data and toast a legendary mission. Then, the signal changed. It wasn't static or malfunction. The data stream became something else, structured, complex, and utterly unexpected, a pattern not programmed into Voyager's computers. The room fell silent, eyes fixed on the screens. 
the final goodbye had become a shocking new hello. In its last moments, Voyager 2 had delivered a message no one could explain. The boundaries of science and imagination blurred. The universe had spoken, and we were listening. The story was no longer about an ending, it was about a beginning. The strange signal lasted only seconds before Voyager 2 fell silent forever. But in those seconds, it transmitted a message that would haunt science for decades. The signal was not random. It was a highly ordered, repeating sequence of pulses. It bore the unmistakable mark of intelligence. Yet, it was in no language or code we recognized. Scientists found complex mathematical patterns, referencing physical constants. It was as if something had replied to our golden record with a far more advanced message. The most chilling part, Voyager's systems showed no malfunction. The data suggested the message was relayed through the probe, not generated by it, as if something in deep space had intercepted Voyager and used its last power to speak to us. The implications were staggering. We were not alone. Something out there was intelligent enough to understand and use our technology. The final transmission was not an ending. It was a cosmic doorbell. NASA's first reaction was disbelief. Every possible technical explanation was tested and discarded. The signal was too structured, too intelligent to be a glitch. Awe and humility swept through the team. For years, they'd searched the skies for signs of life. Now, a signal had arrived through their own creation. It was the moment they'd dreamed of, but it was stranger and more profound than fiction. The emotional impact was immense. Tears, hushed conversations, silent contemplation. This was not just science, it was a philosophical upheaval. The assumption that we were alone had been shattered in seconds. The urgent question, what now? Voyager 2 was silent, we could not reply. We had received a message, but could only listen. Humanity stood at a crossroads, holding a message we could barely comprehend. Years will pass, but Voyager 2's final message will endure as a mystery. The world's best minds will study the dense burst of data, searching for meaning. Perhaps they'll decode parts of it, new physics, a star map, a glimpse of the sender's mind. But without further contact, full understanding may remain out of reach. The sender's nature is unknown, biological, machine, ancient, or new. The silence that followed is as profound as the message itself. The encounter forces us to reflect, did the sender understand our peaceful intent? Was it a reply, a greeting, a test? The event holds up a mirror to humanity, making us question our readiness for a larger cosmos. The search for answers will drive a new era of exploration. Voyager 2's final transmission gives our search for extraterrestrial intelligence a direction. We are no longer just shouting into the dark, we are listening for a specific echo. Voyager 2 is more than a machine. It's a symbol of our best selves. Built for discovery, it journeyed with no final destination, embodying our urge to explore. Its journey is our journey. The final, mysterious message enhances its legacy, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. For every answer, the universe gives us more questions. The true spirit of exploration is not about finding all the answers, but about the wonder and humility of the search. Voyager 2's story is one of reaching beyond our grasp, and finding the unexpected. Now, it drifts through the Milky Way, a relic of a curious species. Its conversation with us is over, but its legacy is a new conversation between what we know and the infinite mystery beyond. Voyager 2 has shown us the voyage into the unknown is endless, and that is the most beautiful discovery of all. The universe is waiting, and we are listening.